So I'd like to share a little fact that trumpet players usually don't get along with each other. Uh, I don't know what it is because typically people love trumpet players. Uh, you know, in a separate group of musicians, if you could have a hundred clarinet players, a hundred, you know, saxophone players, a hundred piano players, if you got one trumpet player in that group, everybody loves them. They revere them. But two trumpet players can't be next to each other for more than two seconds. And uh, it's just a thing. Uh, but recently, we've had a breakthrough in the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra because uh, Ashlyn Parker uh, said those yeah, yeah. That's enough, that's enough. Uh, let's, not, let's not go overboard, that's enough. Thank you. So uh, Ashlyn Parker does not have a flugel horn, which is just this kind of smooth sounding thing, trumpet thing that we play. And so, uh, I let him borrow mine. It's like sharing a toothbrush. <laughs> and now we feel really close and close to him. In the words of Miles Davis. I like flirting with women. You can get a lot from them with just a wink. It's a nice way to flirt without opening up your mouth and saying something. I can always tell by a woman's eyes whether she's interested in me or not. Especially when you see and feel something that is a little more than just a stare. Women in the West do with their eyes what Japanese women do with their bodies. If you see that little something in the eyes of a Western woman and you agree with it, then you react. If you don't, then you just turn your head. But if you feel something spiritual, <laughs> spiritual, but if you feel something spiritual there, a certain connection, then you go for it. 